Good evening and a big welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean. I um, love presenting the show. I've been very honoured to present it for the last 11 years or so. And every Tuesday, we bring you exclusive and incredible deals. And tonight is no exception. Now, we are joined by a guy that I keep missing, actually. Dan, nice to see you. The last few times you've been on, I've been away. I've been away? Yeah, I'm not avoiding you, I promise. Are I'm you not. sure? No, I promise. No, it's well, just... I'm happy to see you anyway. <laughs> Great to see you as well. It's been good. Yeah, we've just been catching up, actually, talking about the cruises that we've booked in the near future. Yeah. But uh, Dan, of course, works for Planet Cruise, so you'll be taking the bookings tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Not just Dan, obviously the whole team. There's lots uh, of us in there. Yes, yeah, and then we'll be taking knowledge. your bookings tonight, we should say, as well. All the way through until 10 o'clock, so if you want to book tonight, some of the deals we've got, you're going to need to book tonight, I think. Yeah. So, worth calling out the guys till 10 o'clock, they're going to be there. Shall we, get, shall we give our, our, our lovely viewers a little heads up of what's to come then? Well, I think we should. It's well worth staying well, tuned can tonight. I, can I pick one first? You pick one first. Go well, on. we have got uh, Celebrity Cruises on board uh, with the wonderful Ruth and a deal that's one of the best I've seen in a long, long time. And it's on board the Celebrity Silhouette and she's going through yeah. a huge refurbishment, isn't she? I won't, I won't spill any beans. I'll let Ruth do that no, because I know she would be very happy she, with me if I. Yeah. She looks away amazing now, but she's going to look even more amazing. Um, what have you got your eye on? Oh, I think there's a, a repositioning cruise on Morella, which is I, tremendous value. And it's not just Gatwick. Everyone says, oh, it's just Gatwick. We've got Manchester as well. Um, I have to I was telling some friends about some, uh, some friends in the pub earlier today. Um, I wasn't in the pub drinking, by the way. I was, uh, <laughs> yeah. So the pub that me and my partner own. Um, and yeah, it's a repo, it's 15 nights and the price is ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's ridiculous, yeah. honestly. Um, but I tell you what, we've also got a biggie coming up later with Holland America, haven't we? We've got two big ones later with Holland America and we've got one on Amadara, which <gasps> is Amal Waterways out to the Mekong. So we've got some really fabulous places we're going to look at tonight. Uh, and a really good one with all Caribbean. Anyway, so we, look, we've got a great show. So we've given it all away, yeah, haven't we? Are, we? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, um, but we are um, going to be starting with uh, with MSC actually, and um, we've got a, a little competition, haven't we? We have. Uh, now, if you'd like to enter our competition to be in with the chance of winning a pair of VIP tickets to visit MSC's uh, newest ship, the MSC Grandiosa, all you need to do is go to the Planet Cruise website, so www.planetcruise.com forward slash en to enter and we've got I think we've got several pairs of tickets haven't we and several that's... pairs of tickets and we you go down there you know you get a brilliant tour around the ship have lunch on board and uh, believe me I went on Bellissima and I'm going on Grandiosa in two weeks on the inaugural and absolutely worth to see because the ships are absolutely something else that's gonna be a great day isn't yes it? so yeah you go to Planet Cruise website right now to uh, enter but let's begin and we're going to begin with our early bird saver now, I'm really bad to say that more and more now, you actually save a lot of money by booking early. It's kind of you changed, do. hasn't it? It's changed, which is, is great in many ways. It gives you the opportunity, you know, you can put down a small deposit, you can pay over a period of time, which we do. Speak to the guys about that. Right, it's you really can pay installments. Yeah, so you don't need to pay now for everything in 2021. The great thing is as well, you're going to see this tonight, you get the, say, the balcony, for example, for nearly the same price as an outside and an inside. So if you're going somewhere that you really want a balcony, spread the yeah. cost and you get the chance to have it for nearly the same price. Um, and this is on board MSC's brand new ship. Well, this is on Magnifica. Yeah. She's well, not she's brand new, new no, but, she's, but not, she's going to almost be brand new. She's going to be unrecognisable. Yes, because she is. She's going to go in and have what was some sort of plastic surgery. We're considering. <laughs> she's going to be extended. Come and join her. Come and join yeah, her. Yeah, we? We'll both be there. <laughs> it's going to have big extended. She's going to have new cabins. She's going to just be something different. Yeah, she's going to be for the, for the UK market. And they're going to keep giving us secret snippets as they go along oh. and so add she's going on. through this amazing, magnificent transformation. Exactly. Just before she comes to Southampton for the whole season. Wow. So she will be very much like a brand new ship. Um, but we've got an amazing cruise on board and yeah. we are going to be taking you around the fjords. So we um, are just going to give you a little taster of what life is going to be like on board. Uh, now, MSC, um, they are known for their beautiful, opulent, decadent ships, aren't they? Beautiful ships. Then we head to Norway, which in itself is a beautiful place. Yes. Every corner you turn has got beauty. I mean, you're going to see some of the bits here. That's in Garanga Fjord there. You can just see the ships themselves, the sort of floor to ceiling windows everywhere. Lots to do in Norway. You've got fabulous waterfalls. Go kayaking, do lots of things that you just wouldn't do 
when you're in the UK. And, and it is, uh, I mean, I've, I've been very lucky to cruise on the fjords a couple of times. And yeah, it, the, the scenery, the air, it's, 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 just, it's yeah. beautiful. It's wonderful, isn't I, it? I, I felt so well when I was there, actually. No, Even no, after the night before. <laughs> that was actually quite well behaved yeah. <laughs> for me. Um, so, yes, it will be, uh, say, a, a trip of a lifetime yeah. with breathtaking scenery and views. Um, and we are cruising out of Southampton, so yeah. I also think it's really easy to cruise out of Southampton. You know, uh, you can take as much luggage as you like. If you don't like yeah. flying, then no flights involved whatsoever. The first day's at sea, and that's, I always think that's really good because you get to explore the ship, settle. In, you, you do and you need that time to relax to calm down you're on holiday enjoy the you know and just just enjoy the relaxed pace of life and get ready for Norway which is equally as relaxing you know we head up for a day at sea and then we head to Christian sand you know I mean you can see here that just epitomizes Norway what you see there sort of small little houses lots of red houses as well very yeah. beautiful you, you You'd never describe Norway as overcrowded and, and no. too built up, would I you? I mean, the thing is that when a ship arrives, it quite often triples the population of the town you're yes. in. So you, you go there and they take you to places that you just wouldn't see in this country. You can't go anywhere in this country that's just as quiet or even quite as, as ruggedly beautiful, I don't think, as Norway. So do Chris's and you come off the ship there, you can head into town, just have a wander around or head on some trips that they'll provide as well that you can pay for. From Christian Sand, we head up to this one was a new one, a new a new one, a new one for me. <laughs> I quite like that it was one nearly that. there, wasn't a it? One. That um, Nord Fjord died. Yes, I've not. But I yeah, have not, I don't think we've had so, this on the show before. No, so I had to have a little look into this one. So it's an absolutely gorgeous, tiny village that you pull into, and it's not too far from the Brixdale Glacier, which we talk about a lot from uh, from Olden. Beautiful, really, really, really worth going to. Oh, do yes. the troll cars there. Um, and you can also, if you're traveling with the family especially, they've got a fantastic thing there. It's called Michael Boost, which is um, a 30 meter long Viking ship. So imagine if you're with the family, take the kids there, oh. all the dressing up and the, you know, the people walking around dressed like Vikings, it's gonna be great fun for them. And that's really accessible from the ship as well, which is great. Then we head to what is possibly one of the, the favorite ports of the, yeah. the fields, it, Flam. It, it is for me, not all itineraries include this one. Um, but for me, it, it was definitely one of the best, if not the best. It's an best. absolute highlight. It, it, it is, is, it is. You know, when you go there, you, you have to go on the train. You have to. And we should say, you do need to book your tickets in advance. It's well worth yeah. it because, you know, it will fill up when you've got a ship or even two ships in there. It will fill up really quickly. Book your ticket in advance through the cruise line. It's, it's worth every penny on there. It really is. And I remember, you know, I... I, I I was on board in uh, July, and we, we, when we set off, it was beautiful and sunny yeah. and face, you know, you know, very, very warm. But as we, we, we you know, we, we continue to climb, uh, to climb, yeah, snow at the yeah. top, you know, it gets a bit too. You need to take a coat with yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely, so you it's do. Like, two different seasons in one day and then we head from Flam down to Stavanger another favorite yeah, it's been lovely. on cruise destinations for many many years wonderful place you can walk into town there if you want to do a trip I would suggest go to um, do a cruise around Lysa Fjord and see pre Castolan uh, you can see it there on the screen it's that brilliant rock you've probably seen Tom Cruise hanging but you might not have. You may have seen, t seen Tom Cruise hanging from it on, uh, on a film before. Maybe yeah. you were lucky enough to be there when he filmed it, I don't know. Um, and then after that, we have a day at sea and it's back to Southampton and you're gonna wanna do it all over again. Yeah. Um, now, uh, the ship is gonna be absolutely magnificent. She's gonna live up to her name. You will never be bored for a minute. Huge choices in terms of dining yeah. and, and bars. But when you look at the decor, with MSC, you know, everything is so opulent and decadent and rich and beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they make everything shiny and Special, beautiful. And yeah. yeah, and when you go on board and you have that thing, say it's your first time cruise, you're going on board a ship for the first time and you say, well, what do we expect? When you get on board and you see that, you will be blown away. Yeah, you really will. Yeah. I mean, look at this, look at the pool area. Yeah. Look at the spa there, God. <laughs> um, I, and I, I forgot to mention, by the way, we have got exclusive pricing tonight and tips included. Um, so a price uh, starting at just 589 on this one. And uh, so you can actually secure it for just a pound per person. Now, in terms of what's included, uh, you've actually got, well, as I just mentioned, exclusive pricing. You've got tips included. You can uh, secure your place type from just a pound per person and 
Also, if you want to make things a little bit easy, you know, maybe you don't live too close to Southampton and you don't want a stressful journey on the day, just add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £95 per person. So you could go there the night before, you know, have a great, um, you know, rest, nice breakfast and then get all of your parking and port transfers as well. Now, prices tonight on Planet Cruise, uh, the price starts as little as 589. And these dates are all summer dates, and I can all tell you now, I have travelled to the fjords in um, early May and in July. Love both experiences, but if you want, you know, if you want it to be a lot warmer and a lot more daylight hours, a lot more sunshine, then the June and July dates will certainly give you that. And uh, so even the balcony prices start at just 769. But... We also want to remind you of that competition. Um, anyone can enter tonight. All you need to do is go to the Planet Cruise website, uh, all the W's dot com forward slash en, and we have got several pairs of tickets, VIP tickets. You'll be on board there. A brand new ship for day and lunch and everything will be included. That'll be a lovely day out. But a very special moment has arrived because. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Ruth from Celebrity Cruises is back on the sofa. Hey, it's great to be back. It it's feels a while like it, I was going to say, yeah. isn't it? It does feel a, what, far too long, Ruth. I know. At least, well, a couple of weeks. We were saying, <laughs> yeah. we were saying she's um, the number two Planet Cruise presenter now. I've Absolutely. been up here yeah. for nearly ten years as well. Yes, you have actually. I've been here more yeah. than Glenn. Yeah. More than Glenn. Yeah, yeah you I have. Know. Yeah, Definitely. catch up to me. Exactly. Um, now I'm a massive fan of Celebrity Cruises. The yes. deal that Ruth has brought today is the best that I've seen in many, yeah. many months um, now normally at this point I always talk about the latest awards that celebrity yes. won because they all they're always winning awards but mm -hmm. uh, tonight I hope you don't mind me mentioning but I saw on Facebook yes. you personally won a big award I did I did last week okay uh, go on I did win the number one account manager for the whole of the UK and Ireland for celebrity cruises wow. I was absolutely blown away wow. uh, but this award is not just for me this is because Planet Cruise are such an immense account <laughs> for us and they sell incredible amount of cruises for us all of the wonderful guests who are watching the shows and cruising through Planet Cruise helped me win that award so it's yours at home as yeah. well, not just mine. And I do know, I mean, I was so pleased with the world, but I know you are so passionate about celebrities. I am. But, but what a great company to be part of. You know? Oh, it really <laughs> yeah. is. And because yeah. we're innovating all the time and creating new things and surprising and delighting our guests all um, the time. Well, tonight's, uh, tonight's yes. cruise, um, I said, the price is amazing. It's on board the celebrity silhouette. Now, She's yes. a beautiful ship, isn't she? And she's my favourite ship, mm. and she's the highest rated ship in the fleet. And you can see her here, as here she was just sailing into Southampton. But my favourite spot, and I know it's your, one of yours as well, is up at the lawn with the hammocks, with the Adirondack chairs, the sunset bar. No matter what the weather, you've got the indoor adults only solarium or the outdoor pool. But the buffet, the Ocean View Cafe, is something else. Yeah. Everything is being freshly prepared and of course the dining choices on board are absolutely incredible you saw there the crystal wine tower uh, there's me enjoying my <laughs> lunch in the uh, ocean in the uh, main restaurant now this is Le Petit Chef this is a brand new specialty restaurant it's all animation and it's projected onto your table and the waiters then put in front of you an exact replica of the dish. There you could see the lobster. You, I have to get you to experience this one. The world-class bar where they create world-class cocktails. I mean, this is absolutely something else. And they'll even ask you, what is your taste? What flavors do you love? And they will create a cocktail for mm. flavors that you love as well. And of course, everybody's favorite martini ice bar. I think I'm either eating or drinking in this video, aren't I? <laughs> um, but 50 different flavors and brands of vodka and martini. But there are quiet hideaway spots as well for that quiet read your book moment or coffee moment and of course our theatre I know you love our shows Sean I, I adore well do you know I adore the shows but I just watching this clip of film um, I've got hundreds of memories just flooding yes. back from the you know eight celebrity cruises that I've been on and 
Every experience is outstanding. It so is. Every experience. You and know. there you can see all of the staterooms and the suites, and all of these are going to be completely refurbished before the ship comes back to Southampton so, in the spring. So hang on, I mean, we've just said, you've just seen how beautiful the celebrity silhouette yes. is, but is she going to a big refurbishment? She now? is. In January, she's going into dry dock for a whole month, and she's going to have what we call the celebrity revolution. And there you can see her. She's going to have a blue hull just like Edge. Mm. So she is going to come up to the to the level of Edge and you're going to see and feel the experiences of Edge on board as well. Wow. So They're the Martini Ice Bar. Now we can't change that because everybody absolutely adores the Martini Ice Bar and the, the waiters there are incredible creating the flight yeah. and all the different flavours and brands of vodka and martini. Blue Aqua Class. Yes, you and, loved it. And we have got an amazing price on Aqua Class tonight. We do. Really Incredible good, price on Aqua Class. Murano, one of our fabulous specialty restaurants, is one of my personal favourites. But I recommend if you've sailed with Celebrity before, try Le Petit Chef, which you saw with the animation in that video. Now, I apologise for this picture because I actually took it on my phone <laughs> when I was on holiday. Right, but right. this we do on the quayside in every port of call around the world. We welcome our guests back on the quayside with uh, iced water, chilled juice, ice cold towels or if it's a cooler day then it's coffee yes, and hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate so we change it and that's the level of service you receive on celebrity then of course you've got the persian garden which again is part of aqua class and the spa but i'm hoping to show you the staterooms because when you see these and here you've got oh. as well this is new. This is going to be when she comes back in the spring. The retreat sun deck. There will also be a retreat lounge. And of course, you have Luminae. They are all for our sweet class guests. Oh, my word. We are upgrading the experience to match that of Edge, all designed by Kelly Hoppen, your own sun deck your own private lounge, and, and, and these and the, are the state So rooms. all the state rooms? Every single one, be it interior, ocean view, yeah. balcony, they will all well, look like this. I How have to fabulous say, is that? The, the state rooms are on, on edge were incredible. Yes. And, and now you're, you're rolling out that standard. We absolutely are, across the fleet. Oh, very, very exciting. Yes. Now, right, because it, it, I'm just thinking, I... I Go on, you know you want to. I do, and I could actually do this <laughs> next year. I've been a little bit cautious with this because I'm building a house at the moment, so I've had to, I don't know when the house is finishing things, but uh -huh. it, it will be finished by September next year. Exactly, <laughs> perfect timing. Um, so anyway, let's show you um, the, the great itineraries, because it's a, it's a lovely one, uh, this one. From Southampton, two days at sea, then to one of my favourite, favourite countries, Madeira, of course. Gorgeous. Madeira, the Garden Isle. She's yeah, lush, beautiful, green, beautiful. beautiful. beautiful flowers everywhere beautiful sea everywhere you go there's something to take a mm. picture of isn't there um, spectacular well, views see, everywhere and I love gardening so the, the botanical yeah. life there yes. Yes. incredible yeah yeah I, I recommend come off the ship walk up to the cable car buy your cable car ticket and your botanical garden ticket in one yeah and you've Great. got a day out there it's brilliant mm. brilliant value after Madeira, we head to Tenerife another gorgeous isle and also still at these time of years we're going to show them they're gonna have wonderful weather Absolutely, it's going to be colder, getting colder here yes. and sailing south to the sunshine. We're going to go and get a bit of sun. Now here, what I would recommend, go to Mount Tidi. I would do, I would do a tour here yes. with, with Celebrity. They take you to Mount Tidi, you'll get the views, you'll see mm. the, the volcano. Oh, fantastic, I'm there already. <laughs> From Tenerife, we head to Gran Canaria. Now, Gran Canaria is another great port. You can wander into town from there. Great shopping in Gran Canaria. It's a nice. brilliant shopping mall. Um, not a lot of people think about it. But you can also head to the beach. Uh, you can see the sand dunes, head there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can do a, a, I mean, you could do a, a tour of the, the mm -hmm. dunes in a buggy, uh, the 4x4. That's what I'm trying to think of. Brilliant thing to do. Then it's a day at sea, and we get to next to two of my favourite ports uh, on this itinerary. Lisbon, firstly really rustic grand city mm. the the bridge you see there you'll sail in and out of now you might not be up early enough in the morning to see you sail in <laughs> but you'll certainly be up when you sail out worth going up to the top deck put your arms in the air and see if you can touch it and normally the captain gives a nice blast of the horn as you go through it's really atmospheric and brilliant a it great is. party on board um in lisbon head up on the uh the tram up the hill great view of the city there yeah also do the torre de bellum which is the uh, historic sort of tower castle you see there we go there it is there um after that we head to porto now i said this before i think porto is probably one of the most picturesque cities yes in the whole of europe on yeah. there heads to uh 
the Louis the First bridge on there, and you can see on one side, you see the Brandon, the bridge itself is fabulous. It's there in the distance on the uh, photo you see. One side of all the winery is going up the hill. If you love your port, head into one of those. You can just sit there, there's, there's plenty of them to choose from to go and try. So mm -hmm. do a bit of a tour of the port there. Then from there to Vigo, another green, lush, really wonderful place to go. And if you like seafood, this mm. is a port for you. The fresh seafood in the restaurants is to die for. Um, again, really easy. When you come off the ship, head straight up the hill and you'll get a brilliant... Try and get some uh, photos of the ship, which will be just down oh, below yes. there. Mm. It's yes. really worth doing on there. In our new splendid glory. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> then it's a day at sea <clears throat> back into Southampton. Um, now, I'm, I need to talk about what Ruth's included tonight, because <laughs> there, there is a huge amount, Ruth. There is. A huge amount. It's a sale event that's just launched, it is. isn't it's it? It is. literally just started a couple of days ago, and to get all of this added value, you need to book by close of business on Monday. On Monday. Now, this is one of the biggest on board spends I've ever seen. Now, yes. it's, it's on Ocean View and above. Yep. $500 per stake. Now, yep. that's a, you know, with the exchange rate at the moment, um, that's a huge amount, it isn't it? It absolutely is. In fact, I worked out the value of the onboard spend plus the free drinks plus the free gratuities. That value is almost £900 per person. Per person. Value. S so tonight, if you book an Ocean View and above with all those extras, that works yes. out about £900 per person. And if you uh, book a sweet class stateroom, yep. uh, you'll be upgraded to a free premium drinks package and you'll receive Wi-Fi too. Yes. And deposit tonight, because I know, you know it's obviously the end of October, and you've got Christmas to come, you can reserve your place from a pound per person. A pound, I know. Yeah. And did you notice, although all that value is on Ocean View and above, we're also doing a free Ocean View to balcony upgrade as well. Well, let's show the prices because this is one of the best deals I've it seen. It really is. Um, Bear in mind the length of this cruise as well. 11 so, nights. I mean, we've got interiors which are brilliant starting at £1,019, but mm -hmm. look at that balcony price. You've got the free yep. upgrade. But I have to say, with, I had my eye on the aqua class as well. Well, I had my eye on the concierge because on the 19th of October, yeah. which, by the way, is half term, so it's great for teachers, yeah. it's great for families, but concierge is only £100 to upgrade. If you love that aqua class, as I know you do, aqua class is incredible yeah. value. But look at the family of four in a balcony for half term and yeah. you've got your drinks gratuities on board spend and your third and fourth so your children or teenagers they will also have uh, a soft drinks package as well right. so it's so, inclusive so, yeah. for all of so the family, all inclusive family holidays. Yes. Right. Uh, drinks it'd be rude not to mention these as you know <laughs> uh, the celebrity classic drinks package is it has to be the best at sea because so yeah. varied really. it really is we call it the classic drinks package but it's full of premium yeah. brands mm. and so much is included the beers the wines the cocktails the list is endless yeah. the spirits and it's in every venue around the yeah. ship i know it very well and uh, you won't uh -huh, be disappointed <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, absolutely now we sometimes get questions what would you do with all that money that you'll get your onboard credit the 500 dollars per stateroom yeah well Here's an example. Specialty restaurant. Yes. Whether it's a special occasion or not, it's so worth trying one or perhaps two of them. Shopping. Did you know we have a partnership with Apple? You could buy yourselves a new iPad. Yes. Uh, wonderful shop. We have a Michael Kors shop. Ladies, wonderful handbags <laughs> on there. Jewelry spa with Canyon Ranch. Wonderful treatments. And, of course, those great shore excursions that Dan was talking about. Mm. They would literally be free for you with all that on-board so spend. So all that spend, on-board spend just means yeah. that, yeah, you can do all these extra things and they're not going to cost you. Ruth, as ever, we are over time, but, you know... Well, we'd... it wouldn't be me if we weren't, <laughs> would it, really? really? <laughs> but can I say, congratulations again. Thank you. Love the deal tonight. I think it's amazing. And if you see somebody on board that looks like me, it probably is me. So come up and say hello. It is. And uh, we will Great see you very see soon. You. you will. We better do. <laughs> Don't leave it so long. I won't. We expect to see you next week now. Um, anyway, um, what's coming up next? Well, we have got this week's... You know what I'm going to say? What's my two favourite words? All inclusive. Yes, it is. The incredible... <laughs> that went well. <laughs> now, Ruth, 10 years of professionalism. <laughs> Say sorry to the viewers. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Ruth's mortified. Ruth, you're not the first and you won't be the last. Right. <laughs> we are live. We are live, by the way. I love it when things like that happen. <laughs> so, it is this week's All Inclusive. Now, I, I have been telling so many people about this deal. I'm sure you have too. Yeah. 
Uh, the price came down even more today. I can't do it because uh, I just haven't got enough holiday, uh, sadly, at this time of year. But it's 15 nights. It's a reposition uh, cruise with Morella. It's on, one, on a ship that I love, the Discovery 2, uh, mm -hmm. that I've, I've been on, of course. All inclusive, 15 nights. Yeah. Going over to the warmth, heading over to the Caribbean. Yeah. Your flights back and are included, of course. And it starts at 965. That is ridiculous. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Crazy I mean, price, it's, isn't it? It, it works out less than 500 pounds. No, hang on. It's, yeah, it's way less than 500 pounds a week. It is, yeah. And that's for all your food, brilliant entertainment, all your drinks, your flights, tips. Gratuities, everything. I need to speak to my boss. Yeah. I need more holiday. You need more holiday. I need more holiday. <laughs> um, but um, you will love the Discovery mm. 2. So let's take you on board. Now, she's one of um, Morella's latest acquisitions in ships, yeah. isn't she? So they, they recently sort of bought her in. She had a big refurb. Everything was changed on board. You know, they, this is where they changed to go to slightly bigger ships. You know, she's not huge still, just under 70,000 tonnes, so she's not a mega ship. And that but she's passes comfortable. it just under 2,000? Yeah, yeah, which is perfect. So nowhere gets too busy. This particular cruise is great. It's adults only for that time of year. Now, the one thing that I really like about uh, Morella is that if you've ever been on a package holiday, you just have to get yourself to the airport. So get yourself to Gatwick or Manchester and get on the plane. Once you get on the plane, there's then someone there to point you in the right direction all the way because through. Because everything, you know, all the flights, um, but, you know, are, are obviously belong to Morella and, and, yeah. uh, and of course, um, They look Tui, after you so. from start to finish, which yes. is great. Uh, and your transfers. The entertainment is outstanding. Um, I've actually just booked my, my third Morella cruise. I'm going, Mum, if you're watching, by the way, uh, five weeks to our next cruise mm -hmm. with Morella. <laughs> um, but... I'll say again, the, the value, yeah. you know, the, the standards, the service, the food, the entertainment, the ship's beautiful, this is just You can't go crazy. wrong. Uh, not only you that, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll here, but, <laughs> but we've even got a choice of flights, haven't we? You have. You've got here, so Gatwick and Manchester. So and Manchester's then included. Manchester's included, and then there's Birmingham with a supplement, with a small supplement, which is wow. great. Wow. So anyway, right, so we better, we, we better crack on, and um, this one will fly. We're going to fly you to Malaga, uh, and then you will embark the Morella Discovery 2. You've got a 14-night cruise, and we take you, first of all, to Gibraltar. Gibraltar, great place, really easily walkable in. Go to the top of the rock, enjoy. Get, uh, go do a bit of shopping there as well if you want to. From Gibraltar, it's our first day at sea, and we head to Madeira. Yes. I won't talk too much about Madeira, because we've just done it. Beautiful place. We all agree there. Now You've the got to go. Now, the next five days, um, we're heading over to Ant uh, Antigua, but you imagine it's going to get warmer and warmer. Yeah. You'll be making uh, the most of your all-inclusive drinks package. Yeah. You'll be sunbathing. You'll be enjoying all the entertainment, and you'll be heading towards the one early Antigua. And it does. It gets warmer each day as you go south, because you, yeah, you're constantly on a, on a on transition south. So that, imagine this. In December, suddenly arriving after five glorious days to Antigua. And Antigua's great. We've talked about it many times. Mm. Head to Nelson's Dockyard, or even if you're not relaxed enough, head to one of the beaches and have some do, more run. Do you know, I'm just thinking when everyone else is trying to find a parking space because it's gone Christmas crazy, and all the high street shops are heaving and the car parks are full, you'll be relaxing in Antigua. Sounds very good to me. It does. Where's next, then, Dan? So Antigua, we're then on to Tortola. Um, now here, I know a little bit about the tours they do in the Caribbean, and I really highly recommend you do a catamaran tour here. Go and have a catamaran talk, you know, think, jump off the, the catamaran into the warm, clear blue ocean with the fish swimming around oh, your yes. feet. Isn't that lovely? From Tortola, we head to Amber Cove, which is a purpose-built cruise port um, there. So everything's really accessible from the ship. It's great. Even the beaches, everything you want to go on the Dominican Republic there. Then we head to Grand Turk. Now, the thing I like about Grand Turk, the pier, as you come off the ship, you walk up the pier and there's a beach. It's oh, not no, a look at this. There we go. You can see it. What could be better than that? Your meters from your hotel room, and you've got a beautiful beach with that ocean there. From Grand Turk, we then head to Falmouth, so you get a chance. Everyone always says to me when we do a reposition, oh, but can we see... Well, no, we fly straight... No, not on this oh, one. Oh, no. We're going to see a bit of Jamaica yeah. before you fly home, which is great. So into Falmouth, you can do your trips from there, head and see a bit of real Jamaican culture, then the next day to Montego Bay and your overnight flight yeah. back to the UK. And don't worry, your flight is included as well. Uh, right, let's just share this beautiful ship. Um, I've been on board, well, I've been on board the Discovery One, very similar sister ship. Um, I had the best time. And remember, this is adults only. Look at the way that... Got remember, to 
eight, eight different restaurants to choose from. Eight entertainment venues. There's an indoor pool for us a bit chilly in Malaga. It will be open by the time we get a little bit further south. And they've even got on board a virtual reality uh, sort of headset game thing going on, which is the first in the fleet Ooh. for Morella. I'm just looking at all the different venues there as well. The entertainment is amazing. I promise you there's always something happening on a Morella cruise. There's, you know, brilliant, say, um, stage shows, West End style shows. There's a Broadway show lounge. There'll be some amazing bands playing. Uh, there'll be a wonderful pianist. And we've got some incredible prices on uh, junior suites and balconies, but everything's included. Tips, great uh, drinks package. We've got exclusive reductions for Planet Cruise, return flights from uh, Manchester or Gatwick, and we've also got a uh, cheeky flight from Birmingham from only £69 per person as well. Um, prices we have got, and you saw them probably in the bottom of the screen, but we have got deluxe balconies for 1269 and that's a deluxe balcony, even the suites uh, just over £400, yeah. sorry, £1,400, and uh, the grand suite, six, just under £1,600 as well. So just give us a call if you do want some of the more upgraded suites and uh, staterooms as well. Wasn't that good? Get ringing. But it's now time for this week's Hot Pick. Now, um, this, this just came in and it's an exceptional price for, for yeah, Hoyte Gruten, isn't it? It's great. We fly you to Oslo. You have a night stay in Oslo, which is great. You get to see Oslo. Yeah. The next day we fly you to Kirkenes, at the very, very top of Norway. Top of the world almost. And then we start to sell you back down. It's great because you see places like Alessand, you see Bodo, you see Kirkenes, obviously, when you go up there, Stamsund and other names that I can't pronounce that you just can't see on a trip from Southampton. And, and, and when it comes to having one of the most authentic um, experiences in this part of the world, this yeah. is the company. Herty Groot, another company, they do it day in, day out, yeah. 365 days a year. Their captains, their crew, the expedition teams on board know exactly where and what to see. And a chance to see the Northern Lights as well. Well, my auntie cruised the last year and she had an absolutely amazing time. That starts at 699. Um, so that's uh, this week's hot pick. But. We're going to give you a trip of a lifetime next, and it's an itinerary that I would love to do. And it is with the one and only Holland America next. And just looking here, this is very much, it's a, it's a fantastic cruise, but the whole land and rail experience is, is outstanding on this one, isn't it? It is. It, it comes to something when you're going to put a Holland America cruise, who are fabulous, Five star, on, aren't they? They're five star, and you're going to put them on top of a, a trip of a lifetime. And you would probably say, actually, the cruise is the second part of the holiday. It's, it's equal. Normally, the cruise is, is way out there, but no, this is going to be as good, if not better. Well, it's a, a 50 night Alaska inside passage and Rocky Mountaineer Explorer adventure. 15 nights. Um, so, just to give you an idea, this is our, our bucket list offer this week, and it says it's an itinerary that, that I would love to do and hope to do so, you know, hopefully in the next couple yeah. of years. Um, but this starts with a flight over to Calgary, doesn't it? So, exactly. We fly you over to Calgary, and that, that, this is where it all begins. We've got so much to go through. We need to have a whole TV show on this one. I yeah, honestly, we could, we could spend yeah. half an hour, couldn't we, at least? So, we've got a nice stay in Calgary. All the hotels that will be used will be really centrally located. The great thing about this is that you will not, if you went to Canada on your own, there is no way you would get in everything they're going to give you on this. So we head to Calgary, we see Calgary, then we go to Banff and it starts, we've got a panoramic helicopter tour. Included. 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 Wow. You know. I mean, that would be, well, I just can't imagine no. how spectacular that would exactly. be. Exactly. Just think of the pictures you're going to come home with. Then we head to Lake Louise. I mean, all of these places in themselves are major destinations. They're major destinations to go to that you'll want to take pictures of and see and, so every you're, day and you're ticking them off. One, every day you're seeing something completely different that you just honestly, you wouldn't see it on your own. You're looked after throughout on there. They take you by coach from place to place. There's no sort of massively long coach journeys either. It's all fairly short and sharp, which is great. After Lake Louise, where just the scenery is going to blow you away, we head to um, Banff, a, you know, 
we've all seen the pictures, we're going to see them again here. The pictures can do the talking for themselves, really. You don't really need to explain too much, it's just the scenery and just sheer beauty that we're going to see. I mean, look at this. Talk about picture postcards. Yeah. Wow. And the gondola ride there. It's, it's all worth doing. And the nature you'll see on there. And there's people there who will point things out for you that, you again, you wouldn't see if you were on your own. So you're going to see a lot more by someone sort of telling you and helping you along the way. After that, we then head to, uh, to Jasper. Fabulous place. Again, it's a national park. We've got a highlights tour here as well to enjoy. Again, I'm just going to let the pictures and, do the talk. And, and don't forget, everything is arranged and planned perfectly. So you don't have to do... You know anything yourself uh, you know you don't have to worry about you know all the different separate arrangements planet crews have put everything everything together, together and you're well looked after now whilst you're here you've got a couple of nights there so we've got a chance it's fairly relaxed at that point you we're not putting too much in but we're giving you enough that you're going to get to see a lot but we don't want to sort of have we you know there's so many tours you can do where they literally drag you from place to place yeah, to place and you, and you don't enjoy it no. because you don't really see much but this you're going to see all the major highlights in there we forgot as well yoho park i just wanted to say that one because it sounded yes. like a really exciting yeah, place i saw that we head to yoho park where we have a tour there as well that's uh, in Bab and the ice fields in parkway so again you get to go there as well so it's really fantastic now once you get to Jasper, you've got two nights, but this is where I think probably the highlight begins because it's time for the train. Now, um, this, this is the, the train journey that I think so many of us have yeah. got on our bucket list and there's a chance of doing this, this incredible journey tonight. Um, I can only imagine what it must be like, but just looking at the videos and the pictures, the scenery. Yeah, must the be scenery, incredible. the onboard experience. Now, you can see a little bit there, you see the train, it's got sort of, oh, we can see it in the back there, you can see the glass at the top. Now, my biggest recommendation to you, if you do, if you book this, is to book gold leaf on the train. Now, so, so silver leaf is included, is Silver leaf it? is included, and that's a fantastic experience yeah. in itself. If you can, upgrade to the gold leaf on there. I think it's from 499 per person. You get the extras, you get a sort of double-decker coach uh, on the train. So you've got floor-to-ceiling windows almost in the top half. You've got an outside area on the train to get the fresh air and the pictures without the window flashback. It is, that is worth every so, penny. You know, you'll only do this journey probably once, and if you can upgrade, uh, the, the experience would be even more magical. You know, everything's upgraded, the food, yeah. the service. It, it, again, don't worry, if you're only going to do silver leaf, it, oh, well, no, it's oh, no, still going to be lovely, unbelievable. Yeah. And the other thing I want to say, the train itself, again, you've got people on there watching out. So if they sort of, I was going to say drive by, but it's not as if they <laughs> rail by and they see some bears, for example, the train will slow down. And so you've got that chance. If they see somewhere that's really picturesque, the train will slow down. down. So everyone on the train gets a chance to, to take the pictures and to see the sheer beauty. There's no whizzing through. Uh, so we, we've taken the Rocky Mountaineer um, train. And we're going to carry on with the journey now. We're only halfway through the I was holiday. Going to say, it's still yeah. loads more. We're only halfway through. Again, this is where it gets exciting again because once we get to Vancouver, you've got a hotel stay in Vancouver. Really, really nice city. It's been voted for many years one of the best places to live in the world. So you should, so should have said you do um, go to Kamloops and you've got a hotel we do. night yeah, there sorry, as well. Should have said that as well. And then it's Kamloops to Vancouver. Isn't there it? we go. So I see that we're getting too excited, aren't we? It's There's all that lot, talk about the spot. food and the, the, the videos on the train. So once you get to Vancouver, again, a night there to relax, to see. One of the most relaxing cities in the world has been voted to live. Really clean, tidy, great place to go again. And that's when we joined the Conning's Dam. So Holland, America. So this is part two. This is part two. Well, it's part three, really. We've had the tour. Actually, yeah. We've had the train. Now we're on part three. We're on the cruise now. We're going to sail up the inside passage. Now, Holland, America are known for their five-star food, the quality of their ships, the entertainment. This is one of their newest ones as well. On board, you've got sort of BB King's Jazz Lounge. Lots of new additions on there as well for this, which is great. But they are known to be an incredible say, oh, cruise they are. company, five they star. Are. So, scenic cruising, and this is scenic cruising throughout. We head to Janau, which is the capital. It's only, you can only reach Janau by um, boat. And that's because there's no roads in. It was the gold capital of the world at one point, so they built no roads, so no one could nick any. Worth knowing. So you go in there by, by ship. Then we head to Skagway, okay? Now here, a lot of people do the Klondike Gold Rush National Park. Again, go and see if you can find some. If you do, make sure they call us when they're back, definitely. Uh, then we're off to Glacier Bay. Now this, you've probably seen Glacier Bay on the pictures. 
it's where the, I mean it's just glaciers everywhere it's where the ship will go in and it will do sort of that 360 turn so that everyone on board oh, gets to that. see Look at that. Imagine. yeah and there's no yeah. rushing the ship goes in nice and slow and everyone will get a chance to take a picture of that it's beautiful then we head to Ketchikan now here absolutely worth going up Creek Street it's sort of the, a real original style um, Alaskan township there and again beautiful scenery everywhere you're not at no point on this holiday you're going to be let down by scenery so all your friends at home are going to be very jealous back to Vancouver and then we fly you back to the UK but let's just have a look at the ship because the ship is is, is something else it's I mean look I tell you that really that that was an incredible journey wasn't it um, and say so, the cruise part is absolutely outstanding as well but of course uh, you know uh, on board the uh, beautiful MS uh, Coningsdon there as well. Uh, let's remind you what's included with Holland America Line right now. So uh, you've got that seven night land rail tour with all of the states in Calgary, uh, Lake Louise, Banff, Jasper, Kamloops, Vancouver, the panoramic helicopter tour, the ice fields, the partway tour, so much more. The Rocky Mountaineer, that's a two all day journey in Silverleaf. But as Dan said, if you can upgrade to Goldleaf, definitely worth doing it's that. worth every penny yeah, it absolutely definitely. is yeah. uh, and your flights are available from london as well price wise and i know we've we you know we, we we'd love to spend another 20 minutes on this but we have got uh, all of those dates available and prices uh, from the inside actually even if you go upgrade to the suite on that lead date there 500 pounds more to get the suite uh, on, on board this beautiful beautiful cruise ship yeah. um but We've still got two more cruises and the next one is Destination Hot Spot. Yes, this really is because if we mention the word Venice, yeah. cruising out of Venice, I mean... It's something it, else. It is. Yeah, it's, I've, it's I've, just, I've, I've, I've done it twice and yeah, it's, yeah, it's magical. It's gorgeous. Uh, so this next... Um, deal is on board the Rhapsody of the Seas, it's with Royal Caribbean and it's a 12 night late gardener and Venice stay. Let's just start with uh, our flights over to Verona and we transferred to Lake Garda for three nights. So three it's nights a beautiful in Lake hotel here. Yeah, so we stay, normally stay in an area called Simeone which is uh, right near the lake, is beautiful. You can, the great thing about Lake Garda, it's quite big, but you can catch little ferries everywhere so if you want to you can shoot across to other places. Now we've got Lake Garda, it's beautiful there after that we then include a train to Venice and Venice is one of those places you have to see it gorgeous place but you've got two nights there it's not you're off the ship at nine in the morning and back on at four you've got two nights to see it go in a gondola for certain enjoy yourself yes. there then we're gonna head to the ship now I will say about Rhapsody of the Seas she is absolutely adored by people who like Royal Caribbean she's one of the smaller ships so especially if you're on a balcony it's worth to book because they will sell out quite quickly and I mean months in advance yeah no, you said this earlier in fact some of the balconies have already sold out yeah. but this gives you a, an idea of the overall experience here yeah I mean we, we all know Royal Caribbean everyone knows Royal Caribbean they are fabulous the ports we're going to show on this one now we have what slightly different itineraries depending on which date you do it so you may go to slightly different ports this particular one we're going to see you know i won't give it away but we're going to see some big hitters of the adriatic on there which is great but you'll enjoy venice itself you've got some time there which is really worth doing enjoy five nights in italy enjoy the food enjoy the culture the wine and just relax and then if you're not relaxed enough you're going to go on the ship for seven nights and you're truly going to relax now I'm just having a look here at, at where they're going because my my wife really wants to go to Santorini. We haven't been there, and I know that she she'll have already watched Ruth. I think your wife's be, quite. She sounds like she's having a pretty good time though. You do, you're always on the cruise together, aren't we you? We don't do too bad. You don't though, do, do we? too bad. Everyone says we don't yeah, do too really bad. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, But anyway, uh, on this cruise, uh, so we, we've spent our time in, in Venice yeah. and, and Lake Garda. We're on board the uh, the Rhapsody of the Seas and our. First uh, port is Dubrovnik, isn't Dubrovnik. it? Dubrovnik, and it's a fabulous place. Come off the ship, just go, just walk around the old town there. If you want to get that that sort of picture of the whole of Dubrovnik, head up the cable car, and you can get a shot looking down on Dubrovnik. That's the main street there, and lots of steps go off either side with lots of little boutique style shops. It's a really grand place to go on there. Then we head off to Kotor after that, which Kotor is absolutely beautiful. Yes, it's a fjord like. It's, well, it's a warm fjord like 
set of bays and you head there again when you come off it's really historic and pretty you can head up the hill and again get a lot of walking up hills on this one so you're going to be lots of food you can have on board the ship you get to enjoy but get your photos there then we've got a day at sea and santorini i know you know santorini doesn't need too much introduction head to oya which you can see there tender in walk up the or take the cable car on there take the cable car up and it's just a gorgeous place have have a cocktail or a drink on one of the balconies of the the bars there. just looking at, and those oh, views you can actually see you know they're not I mean, sort of made one up. of the most beautiful places in the world and there's one more uh, one stop, more port isn't it? which is Catacolon which is for Olympia the original uh, birthplace of the Olympics beautiful place Catacolon itself it's a small little village go to a taverna there sit on the front overlook the little fish sitting around the little fishing boats and have a beer and think of me while you're doing it <laughs> And then uh, a final day at sea and uh, back to Venice where you disembarked and you're yep. transferred and flown back to UK. But this is why so many of us love the uh, Rhapsody of the Seas there. Beautiful ship. Yeah, she comes back to Venice year after year after year and that's because she is, and, and like I say, she's loved because of her size, where she goes, the cruise she does, and the facilities on board. She might not have the flow rider and things like that, but there's still so much yeah. to do on board. But um, say not not just not not you know, some of the Royal Caribbean ships have, have you know, six thousand passengers, don't yeah. they? So and she's one of the smaller ones, but she's yeah. really classy. Yeah. She's really well looked after. Uh, so just remind you, you've got a three night uh, stay in Lake Garda. You've got two nights in Venice. You've got that uh, train from Lake Garda to Venice that is included. Seven uh, nights on board uh, Rhapsody of the Seas. And uh, the item is it do uh, different, you know, depending on departure date, but only a little bit there. And return flights based on London. Price wise, do you know, we have got a huge amount of dates at the moment, but the balconies are selling, as, as Dan said, yeah. very, very uh, quickly. So if you do want a balcony, which is highly recommended, then do give us a call sooner rather than later on that one. So I'm a big fan of um, Royal Caribbean because they were the first company that got me into cruising. And and now 30 cruises later, I am still well and truly hooked. But something I've yet to experience um, is, is a river cruise and um, something that I would definitely like to try. And tonight's river cruise is with Amma Waterways on board the Amadara. Um, now I've seen this ship on the TV quite quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. she yeah she's become so popular. She has hasn't since she? the the Queen of Cruising, we'll call her. Yes, has went on and did a TV show on her, and since then the popularity has exploded in terms of what's going uh, on. And what always appeals to me, um, I've got to say, the twin balconies that you will get. Yeah, they they look amazing. But the itinerary on this one, we, we've called it the Eleven Night Charms of the the Mekong yeah. with a Ho Chi Minh a stay. Beautiful itinerary, isn't it? It is, and do you know what? You do, you do it in absolute luxury. I know this fairly well. My parents have booked onto it in April. Oh, so really? I wanted to They're going know. in April to do, they're doing it the other way around to this. They're doing CM Reap and back to right. Ho Chi Minh. So I know it back to front because I can't sell them a bad cruise, can I? I don't think I'd be <laughs> really very can't. popular. So I know it fairly well. And what they give you on board. Well, let's have a little taster uh, to give you an idea. Now there's the ship. She's not huge on there. Everywhere is sort of gorgeous wood panels. You're never sort of, it's all very open as well. So you get a lovely breeze as you go along the river. You know, I mean, just on board, you're gonna see a completely different culture. You can't get this in Europe, can you? We know that. And the tours, there's tours in everywhere you stop. So I was gonna say tours well. and uh, drinks are all included as well, aren't they? Drinks are included. Um, twin balconies, as we discussed, which are great because you get an actual outdoor balcony. And then the other side is like a sort of conservatory style balcony. So, you're, so yeah, beautiful, so beautiful. Room. Floor to ceiling, gorgeous wood panelling, huge bathroom. Everything's bigger on board. It's not sort of tiny, which is so. Great. We are talking ultra luxury, really, aren't we? We, we are. Yeah. yeah, you have to say it's it, again. It's you, you probably will do this once. You might not do it again, which is the great thing. And you just sail along and see this as you go. And the great thing about this is they don't head to major ports. They just stop where the where they need to be which is great because you know you want a big ship at sea you can only go to where the, they can dock yeah, of course the small ones like this they just go to where they where they can so and, and there'll be great. no you know queuing waiting to get off no. it's, you know none no. of that. everything's nice and easy um, now we we fly of course um from london to ho chi minh city 
Um, and you're then transferred to a hotel. You've got a two-night stay. Two-night stay. So they look after you. You go in on the flight. You're transferred to a hotel. Now, believe me, the hotels, ask the guys what they are um, when you phone up. I know in CM Reap they use the Sofitel, for example, and they're, they're pure nice. luxury. So don't just believe me. You can even head online and have a look at them, and you'll understand what I mean. So you head to Ho Chi Minh, we do a couple of nights there. Again, there's someone there to look after you and point you in the right direction, so you make the most of your time there. Okay, now once we then make it towards the, the, the ship or the boat, what should we call it? Let's just say a ship. We'll call it a ship, yeah. let's call it a ship. We join the Amadara, and once you're on board, there's a welcome dinner to enjoy. And then you head to Kai Bay. Okay, just next down the uh, the list. Again, it's just it's just pure beauty the whole way there. Now, once you're there, like I say, you have trips included. Here you'll visit a candy and rice paper making workshop, or the, an old kit uh, style house, and then we head uh, down to Sardec, which is sort of on, still in the Mekong Delta. There, you're still close to the sea, on there. Now, once you get to Sardec, again they take you out. Um, very famous for the houses that they take you to the market which I would thoroughly enjoy because I love a market when I go abroad on there um, next day we head to Tan Chow which is again it again here it says on there I read about it, it's unspoiled by tourism which is great and the boats not big so there's not no. like there's 5,000 people trampling through and you don't get to see anything now here we've got a, a again a trip included they take you on a tri shore like a rickshaw with three three wheels they take you around town you stop and see the silk making the mat workshops lots to see later that day we then head across and we see uh, or we cross sorry the cambodian border we head to phnom penh on there which is famous of course for, for the sad history of the killing fields now the next day when you get there you actually go on an excursion to the killing fields and see uh, where Khmer rouge or the Khmer rouge um, wreaked havoc almost but they take you there and then we head off there, we see the National Museum and the Silver Pagoda in the afternoon. Then we're off to Kampong Tralak, uh, where you have a really, uh, you have an ox cart ride. Don't oh, that's, really? That's different, isn't it? That you don't get that different. anywhere else. They take you through the village itself, and then you head uh, to Udong, which is the former royal capital of Cambodia, um, on there, which is great. And you have a Buddhist blessing ceremony at a monastery in the afternoon, and then a walking tour of Udong in, uh, as well. So you get to see it, which is great. And then experience uh, Phnom Penh again via a tuk tuk ride. Again, so again, it's all sort of in keeping with where you're going. You're seeing the local culture and history. It's then off to uh, Okhanhati village. And sorry about my uh, pronunciation here. Silk Island, again, it, it's famous for that. And then Ankaban. Then it's uh, Ankaban is the only, I'm trying to go through all the history that I wrote down here really quickly. Um, was the only one that was not destroyed by the Khmer Rouge is Ankaban, which is great. So it's, it's really untouched history Ooh, there, okay. which is amazing. Then Kampong Chan, we travel by coach to uh, the temple at Wat No Kor, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And then we sadly have to disembark. But again, worth noting, you can add on a stay at either end, it, whichever way round you do it. Well, I thought this pronunciation was very good, a lot better than Glenn did, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, so this is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially in your rush as well. Yeah. Uh, so tonight to stay is including Ho Chi Minh. You've got complimentary drinks. So it's amazing uh, river cruise, of course. All your excursions there. So uh, you will visit Cambodia's uh, infamous killing fields there. And return flights from London. Uh, this is fun five-star river cruising at its very very finest um, price wise I mean we always are very busy whenever we have yeah. uh, say Amber waterways uh, with us on the show but you will all get either twin balcony or a suite and those those twin balcony rooms are absolutely amazing so uh, it is a uh, what a great show. It's, yeah. uh, it's amazing. It's back. Time to quickly recap. So, we started with MSC, we didn't we? We started with MSC, up to the fields. It's in advance. It's 2021. ID is 223177, I think. Well, I remember. hope it is. We'll, we'll see it in a minute. It is. It's there. there. Well done. There we go. Really great value. Remember, just pop down a deposit on this and pay mm. in instalments if you want to. And then we had Celebrity Cruises. Um, with the one and only Ruth and that very fine exit that she made. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that actually brought us an amazing deal. Um, so the price of this one is in 11 nights, Spain, Portugal, Canaries. Uh, the lead date, the 19th of October. The lead price is one uh, £1,099 per person. If you upgrade to Ocean View and above, you get, I think Ruth worked out, nearly £900 worth yeah. of extras per person. 
all of those uh, extras, drinks package, gratuities, $500 on month spent per stateroom, included if you go for Ocean View and above, and a free upgrade from Ocean View to Balcony. Then we had, and in the, the last 11 years since I presented the show, I don't think I've ever seen a deal like this. No. It's off the scale, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, you're going across from Malaga to the Caribbean, sunshine, 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 yeah. all the way across, from 965 per person, Gatwick or Manchester. Or Manchester or and Birmingham for yeah. like £6 per person. But honestly, if you've not cruised Morella, you know, I haven't for ages, I've now booked my third cruise, go for that one if you can. Mm. And uh, email the bosses, ask them if I can go on it as well. Uh, then we had Holland America, didn't we? Now, this was a trip of a lifetime. Yeah. Um, you know, it's the ultimate bucket list. You've got the 50 night Alaska inside passage, Rocky Mountain Explorer experience. And you've got stays in Calgary, Lake Louise, Banff, Jasper, Kamloops, Vancouver. You've got that panoramic helicopter tour. Uh, the two all day journey on the Rocky Mountaineer at 3299. Please call us for more details on that one as well. That was Royal Caribbean, wasn't it? Royal Caribbean, Rhapsody of the Seas. Remember, a real favourite with Royal Caribbean fans. Three nights in Lake Garda, two nights in Venice, seven nights on the ship. It, again, beautiful itinerary. Go for the balcony uh, on there if you can. They'll sell out really quickly. Again, deposit only and pay in instalments. And then we also had, don't forget, um, that incredible um, Amadara uh, cruise there. The 11 night charms of Mekong with the Ho Chi Minh stay. Uh, with, of course, Amma Waterways, and that, that, that was a, a, a wonderful trip. But we also had the chance of you winning VIP tickets to visit MSC's cruise's newest ship, the MSC Grandiosa. Um, and all you need to do is go on our website, www.plantcruise.com forward slash en, to have uh, been with a chance. And we've got several pairs to give away, I believe. And breathe. Yeah, we relax. That was a busy yeah, show, it was, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Um, I, I'm just thinking that are so many favourites there, but give us a call right now. We are open till ten o'clock tonight. Are you back in tomorrow? Dan? I'm back in tomorrow. Give me a call. I'm very happy to help you go through all the bits and all the guys there. Planetcruise.com if you need to on there. It's worth going on to. We've got more cruises on there if you don't want to do the ones you've so done you tonight. Go. When are you next back, Dan? Uh, in December. And I will ha have been on MSC Grandiosa by then. Yes, you will. So I'll tell you all about it. Uh, well, you're stuck with me again next week, so I'll see you <laughs> next week. But thank you so much to everybody that's watched. And uh, Susan Page, you better put that cruise Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.